Hey guys, Mr. Grand here with a quick video to explain how to use the calculator for the upcoming uh, part of, of this unit. So for like 6.6 .6 specifically. Um, so let me present. Okay, so with your graphing calculator, um, you're going to, we're going to be doing some stuff where we have to be able to accurately graph, read the graph, and use a table potentially. So we want to make sure that our graphing calculator is set up properly. Uh, so the first thing would be, let's, let's go to where we're going to enter the equations. So the y equals button, if you see where my cursor is up here in the top left. So click that. Now, I've intentionally threw a bunch of junk in here and screwed up mine so that if yours is screwed up, you could kind of go through the same process. So looking at this, I've got all these extra equations that uh, I just threw in here. Um, to get rid of stuff, just go down to, you know, move the cursor down to it and hit the clear button and that'll clear it out. All right now look at the top of mine and look at the top of yours. Mine has this plot one highlighted. I don't want any of these plots to be highlighted when I'm graphing in this class. So just move the cursor up to it, hit enter to remove that plot to turn off the plots for this. So now I've got a nice uh, just basic equation in here that I want to graph. If I click the graph, the top right button, I've got an error, window range. Now I'm gonna show you two things here. There's a window button up towards the top left where my cursor is. If I click on that, so actually hit enter to quit, come on, and then click on the window button. I've got a bunch of values in here and I want those to be set to a particular, to some particular values. So the X minimum, I want to have is negative 10. The X maximum I want to have is positive 10. The Y minimum I want to have is negative 10. And then the X, the Y maximum minus correct uh, is 10. Now you can do this manually and that's how you would go in and do it. The easier way to do this, the shortcut, if you look at the very top middle button here where it says zoom, click zoom, and if you go down to the sixth option, zoom standard, that gives you your regular, just basic um, window range where it goes from negative 10 to positive 10 on both the X and the Y axis. And that's, um, that's what we're gonna be using uh, for, you know, almost all the time in this. I don't, I don't know if there's gonna be something where we're going to, to deviate from the standard window. Okay. Uh, the next thing is we're going to be using tables for this. So um, for the table, if you see where the graph button is, there's a little blue table above it. It says table in blue. So hit the blue button second, then graph, and you get a table of values. Now, if you notice, mine isn't very useful right now because it's 1100 for the X values. And that's way bigger, the way outside of that negative 10 to 10 that my window is set at, right? So what I want to do, if that's the case on yours, that it just looks all screwed up, we will need to set our table. So if you look at the window key that we used just a little bit ago, up above that, it's a blue TBL set for table settings. So hit the second button, the window button. And now here is what you should probably set it at. So this table start we don't want it at 1100, zero is gonna be pretty good for everything you do. We might have to scroll around a little bit on the table, but that kind of centers it. Then this triangle table, that is delta table, and it's what, um, what it counts by. For what we are doing, we want it to count by one. And now double check that these two things are set to auto. If you set them to ask, when you go to your um, to your table, it's not going to be quite as useful because you would have to then start entering values. And so, if I have both of these set to auto, now when I go to my table, it's going to start at zero and it's going to count by ones. 
Now, when we're using the table here, we might have to scroll up and down a little bit. So using the direction pad, just scrolling up is gonna move it up, scrolling down is gonna move it down. All right, and that's all for now. If you're having any issues, if you've got a particular, um, if you've got a particular type of calculator that's just not working for you, make sure that you email your teachers and get on a, a Google Meet and we'll try to help you figure it out, okay?